Hello and welcome to the Crazy Coders Club. In this episode, I am going to teach you how to use the filter and filter view options in Google Sheets to analyze the data better and also to save the time. This is the third part of the Master the Google Sheet series. If you have not watched the previous parts, I have linked the videos in the description. If you are new here, we make videos on automation using Google Apps Script, technology and coding. If you want to receive the notification, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. In this episode, I will cover these three topics. How to create and turn off the filter, filter by values and filter by conditions, how to create the customized filter view to wave the specific data. Let's start. When you are working with large data sets in Google Sheet, you don't always want to see everything which is there in the sheet, but you want to see the specific data. This can be achieved by using filter option. Let's see how to do it. To create the filter, go to data, select the create filter option. A filter will be created. Once you create the filter, a filter icon will appear next to each column heading. To explain filter and filter view, I have chosen a set of data which represents a list of projects handled by a person or group of people. Let's apply some filter. For example, I want to see the projects which are having high priority. To get that, go to the priority column, click on the filter icon. By default, it will take you to filter by values. First, clear it, select the required one and click OK. Now the filter is applied to this priority column. As you can see here, there is a clear difference between these two icons. This particular icon indicates that this column is under filtered view. To remove the filter, click on this funnel icon and select all, click OK. Now the filter has been removed. Filter displays the data which satisfies the condition. It can be applied to single column or multiple columns. Let's understand the filter by values. For example, I want to see the specific task. To get that, go to the task column, click on the filter icon, under the filter by values, first clear it. Now we have two options. If the column has less number of values, you can select from this list. If the column has more number of values, you can start typing the initial words here. You will get the suggestion. You can select from here and click OK. Now the filter has been applied. To remove the filter, click on this icon, select all and OK. Let's learn how to apply multiple filters. For example, I want to see the projects which are having high priority as well as overdue. To get that data, go to the priority column Click on the filter icon, clear and select the high and click OK. Go to the status column, click on the filter icon, clear and select the overdue and OK. Now we have got the projects which are having high priority and overdue. Like this, you can use the combination of filters to obtain the specific data. It saves a lot of time and also helps in taking informed decisions. Let's learn filter by condition. For example, I want to see the projects which are having less than 50% of completion. To get that, go to percentage done column, click on the filter icon. In this case, you should not clear it. Instead, you should go to filter by condition. From this particular drop down, select your condition. In my case, it is less than and enter the value here and then click OK. Filter has been applied. Now it is showing only the values which are less than 50%. Let's try one more. Now I want to see projects which are having more than 75% completion. Go to the funnel icon, change this condition to greater than and enter the value 75% and click OK. Now we can see the projects which are having more than 75% completion. Like this, you can apply different conditions based on your requirement to filter the data. To remove this filter, go to the funnel icon. In the condition drop down, select none and click OK. The filter will be removed. Let's explore what are the different options available in filter by condition. Go to this filter icon, click on the filter by condition and click on this drop down. As you can see here, there are some options available. It has been divided into three categories. Conditions for the text, condition for the date and condition for the numbers. You can select any condition based on your requirement to obtain the specific data. Now I will show you how to create custom filter view so that it eliminates the need of creating filters every time you want to see the specific data. Now we'll create filter view for high priority projects. Go to data, select filter views, create new filter view. Here give the name to your filter view, enter and apply the condition. Clear, high and click OK. Filter view has been created. To delete the filter view, go to this settings and you can delete from here. Close this. To see the filter view, go to data, filter views, high priority. 
here it is your filter view. Like this you can create multiple filter view so that you can take a quick glance at your data. And finally we will see how to turn off the filter. First close this, go to data, turn off filter. Thank you for watching. In the next part we will cover conditional formatting and how to create drop downs. <music>